Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about service now existing functionality and enhancement and updates in Kingston release. In my earlier videos, I already have talked about these icon links. In my current video, I will talk about these wizards. The current status wizard and claim management with wizards because also can be seen here in system status menu. If you will click on this, you will see on this page they have attached current status hand maintenance and status history wizards. Current status plan maintenance wizards are referring to CMDB CI outage table. If your type is planned outage, so it will come in your plan maintenance wizard. If your type is declaration and outage, it will come in your current status wizard. There are three types of outages: degradation plan maintenance and out. If you want to create outages, then click on new button. Here you have to select the configuration item. Define the type and give the lifespan for your outages. Refresh your service portal. As we have selected the type as hand maintenance, so it is coming under this wizard. So this is the time. This is the configuration item I have selected, and this is the time span or lifespan for this outages. Similarly, we will create one more out. This time I have given the type as outages. Selected the configuration item as client services. Defining the begin and end time, and I have submitted it. If I refresh my service portal, then this outage is coming under current status visit. Moving ahead, this is a visit where you can see the popular questions those user has created. Here you can see all the announcements. In this wizard, you can see approvals. If any request is pending for your approval, so that ticket will come under this wizard. Here you can see all the incident tickets created for you. For example, if I open this, this incident ticket has been created for system administrator, and now we are on system administrator account. Open this question. Click on this star icon and click on this home link. Then you will see one more wizard has been added. It means this wizard is containing all the questions those has been subscribed. The star icon is nothing but a subscription icon. Okay, let me personal to the user those have pending approvals. So for this, I'm impersonating to David Lu and refresh your service portal. Now you will see for David Lu one change request is pending for the approval. Either he can approve it or he can. Rejected. Let me back to system admin account. Yeah. In this wizard, you can see all the knowledge base articles. Those are top rated. 
if the widget has not been added on your service portal so you can add this widget by going to your page designer and you can add this widgets here this is my uh, current status widget name maintenance widget announcement widget top rated articles widget page top rated this is the way we can add it by searching the widget here current status i already have added here similar way plant maintenance and announcement announcement is a new feature in tinsum release announcement is used to broadcast messages to service portal user why we use announcement in which scenarios we can use announcements for example if you want to inform the users about the upcoming events hr policies critical outages so in these scenarios we can use announcements if your instance is new then this instance is active out of box but if your instance has been upgraded from any previous version to kingston release then you have to install the announcement plugin in your instance so for go so to go to plugins and install the announcement plugin service portal announcement so this is a plugin you have to install if your system has been upgraded from your from the older version to kingston version in your left navigator search announcements click on this module if you want to create your new an announcement then click on new button give the name of your announcement similar way you have to give the life span for your announcement till what date to what date it should be displayed on your service portal so i'm selecting the date as 22 First of March. Give the summary. Here you can create your own custom styles. So for this, you have to go to this table. in this table if you want to create your custom styles so you can click on new button and give the background color foreground color and alignment for your style and that custom style you can select here you can use the glimp icons if you want to display this announcement as first then just click on this check box and you also can define the orders for your announcement as well there are two ways that we can show the announcement on portal first is a banner and second is a widget let me first create this now it has been created and refresh your service portal this is my announcement so i have select the type as wizard as well as banner if i select the type as 
banner so my announcement will come on the top of the portal now i have also selected this as my wizard so it will come you know wizard instance as well as let increase the lifespan for this auto box announcement so i'm selecting it as april 6th refresh your service portal now you can see there are two announcements user also can dismiss the announcement by clicking on this close button so this announcement will not get displayed for this announcement there is no dismiss icon so let's check this announcement you can see the option here as user cannot dismiss that's the why the user was not able to see cross icon to dismiss the announcement so here three options are available user can dismiss no redisplay it means it will not be displayed on the service portal user can dismiss for only current session and user cannot dismiss here you can assign the role for this maintenance to whom it should get displayed if you have seen if you have selected the roles and admin so it means this announcement will be displaying for admin users if there is no roles it means it is for all the users you also can make your announcement as public you also can set your announcement for specific portal if no portal is selected here it means this is available for all the portals if you select the portal here as your uh, demo portal so it will not get displayed on your service portal so now can now you can see only the one announcement is displaying on your service portal because you made this announcement specific to demo portal so it will not get displayed on your service portal to check this open your demo portal and this is the announcement which we have made specific to demo portal so we are seeing that for this announcement there is no service portal so this and uh, this announcement is displaying on all the portals on my demo portal as well as on my service portal but this maintenance announcement is specific to one portal so it is not displaying on your service portal but it displaying on your demo portal Apart from this, you also can add more behaviors for your announcement. If you have selected the target as page, so you have to define the detail page, and here you have to define the link. For example, I have defined the link as click here. As this. an announcement is specific to demo portal so let me refresh my demo portal i can see the link click here which i have created on my announcement and it should navigate to this page so let me click on this yes this is working fine it is navigating to this page the similar way you can set more behavior for your announcement if you want to change the target as your url in current browser so here instead of giving the page you have to give the url 